till now we have been doing electrostatics where the charges were charges were not moving right they were static they were not moving now we come to the case where the charges they start moving okay so charges move and whenever the charges move they constitute a current right moving charges constitute a current and how do i measure that current if say i have say i have a conductor which is like that okay which is like that and let's say it's a circular conductor and circular conductor so the cross section i am showing like showing like that so so it is something like that and and say say this is this is continuing here okay the charges are moving and it constitutes a current so it is something like that and and, and we know that if there is a current moving in this direction it actually is equivalent to to electrons moving in this direction right so if these are the charges this is how they they kind of flow let us say i am i am standing here i am keeping watch on the charges right so so say you are you are looking at it like 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 this okay so 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 i am looking at it like like this okay so if i am looking at it like this and i i put my watch on okay so i i have a say i have a stopwatch i have a stopwatch and i put it on okay so i put it on and i have a capacity say i have an instrument by which i can i can count the number of electrons that have passed this okay that have passed this then then if i see delta q amount of charge that is passed in delta t time then the current is given by delta q upon delta t right it is delta q upon delta t and this will be called an average current as long as this time interval is is finite it will be called an average current understand as this delta t tends to zero so in the limit as this delta t tends to zero this whole quantity delta q upon delta t is termed what is what is written as dq upon dt and and this is what we call the instantaneous current okay so if the time interval in which you measure the charges is very very small infinitesimally small that is smaller than the smallest that we can even imagine then the current that you get is the instantaneous current okay so this constitutes this in a in a, in, a, in a nutshell constitutes the definition of the average current this and and this constitutes the definition of of a, of a, of an instantaneous current okay this is the instantaneous current right this is the basic definition of current okay this is what constitutes a a, a current understand current current in itself denotes movement and it is the movement of what the charges okay the movement of water is waves or water current the movement of the charges is what is termed as what is termed as the the current right now how does a current move 
So, so if it moves, there should be a cause. How does a current move? Okay. So, how does a current? Uh, how does a charge move, or how does a current get created? Right. So, so this this has got its 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 origin in what we what we studied in the last chapter right so if current moves if there is a current it means the charges are moving and charges if it's a charged particle if it is it, and and in case of in case case of solid conductors what moves it is the electron which moves right it is the electron which moves so so electron moves and when will an electron move when will will an electron move until or unless there is a field the charges don't move we know that okay so in the case that we just saw so this current moving like this it it must be because of because of some electric field that is there right so inside the conductor inside the the conductor inside the conductor there must be a field right so inside the conductor there must be a field so so this is e this is an electric field e okay and inside that field there are electrons this is this is a pretty magnified view of what what is here that's why it looks so big so electrons will face will face a force in this direction and hence are moving like that and electrons moving in this direction is actually equivalent to equivalent to the current moving in this direction isn't it it is current moving in this direction i so it is pretty obvious that that for for the charges to move for the charges to move there should be an electric field there should be an electric field and who creates that an electric field there should be an electric field right and and that electric field has to be created by someone so so the cells okay cells or a series of cells that we call batteries right they are capable of creating an electric field they can create an electric field okay an electric field fine not only that so 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 electric field that is that is that is constant in direction constant in direction okay so and that is what you call a direct current so they create a or they create a, a direct current a, a, a dc okay we say that they create a, a dc it's not, not at times in small at times in capitals but then it is dc okay dc stands for direct current direct current if it is not direct current then there is an alternating current we'll go into details of that but but that will further complicate the matter but let me just tell you at this point of time that there is also a possibility of an alternating current getting created due to a voltage that is not fixed in its polarity so it keep on fluctuating it keep on changing plus and minus and that will that is what will constitute a current in that case it is called an ac okay so so the supplies that we are getting at, uh, in our homes here in india 
that is about 220 volt AC alternating current alternating voltage which is creating an alternating current that we call it is we, we do not call it AB alternating voltage though we could have called it right so we normally deal it in terms of DC and an AC fine so the DC current will be formed in the electric field is in a continuous the electric field will always be like this it will not change so that electrons will keep on moving in a steady stream from here to here like that right so so all these electrons they'll 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 keep on moving from here to here all the electrons in an ac they'll move in this direction suddenly it will fluctuate and they'll move in this direction okay yes. so and they'll kind of keep on moving here and here and here and here and that's how it goes right so that's how a current is created and and uh, the charges move and and they constitute a current right so 